I'm back. Today I'm going to show you everything that has been added to the test realm like trading, stickers and more. Remember that this is the test realm and some changes might happen. So first, the trading system. To unlock the ability to trade, you need to have 20 Bs and the Playtime Hotshot Badge. You can only trade B-Quips, stickers, which is a good feature since blue backpackers won't have 20 gifted mythic eggs. You will be able to trade in the main game and in the trading hub which is located near the ant field. The trading hub can have 45 players which is a lot. The trading hub has a sticker wall where players can stick and steal stickers. Onet stated that there will be quests which will require the sticker wall. There is the new hub field in the middle. There is also a sticker sprout timer which indicates when a sticker sprout will spawn. You can spawn a sticker sprout by using a sprout in the hub field. The sprout has 1 billion health which to a maxed out player might seem little but you don't have your bees. You can't use cloud vials or sprinklers. This is me planting a sticker sprout and it took me and 10 max gear players 4 minutes to harvest the sprout. You obviously get stickers from the sticker sprout. But there are other ways to obtain stickers, most of them are obtained from a sticker printer. The sticker printer is basically a wind shrine. You can use it every hour and you donate eggs and gamble. You can find stickers stuck on walls all over the map and if you click on them you obtain the sticker. Sticker stamps are obtained by being in the top 100 daily field collectors. Stickers can be obtained by doing random side quests like using 100,000 royal jellies and not getting a mythic bee and much more randomness. Stickers can also be donated to the sticker stack. The sticker stack is basically like a wind shrine. You donate a sticker and you get buffs, but you do lose the sticker which you donate. There's the new nectar condenser. It is used to turn nectar into nectar vials, which is good for people who don't macro 24-7. There's the new sticker planter which grows in 3 hours and drops stickers. The hive itself got a new feature and you can change its colors with 6 other hive skins. You can get the blue hive skin by completing 64 bucko bequests from the king beetle. Red hive can be obtained by completing 64 Riley bequests, defeating the king beetle. Green hive from the stump snail. Pink hive from the mondo chick. White hive hive from the coconut crab, black hive from the tunnel bear. There are two new cub buddy skins. The stick cub is obtained by being on the top 10 daily stick bug leaderboard or from stick bug itself. The star cub is obtained by using the diamond star amulet, sticker printer, or sticking 12 star signs to the sticker stack. Star sign stickers are obtained from fireflies, meteors, and star jellies. During the star sign period, there are two new badge types, the sticker stack badge and the long-weighted mountain top field badge. Onet actually promised that he would add the mountain top field badge for the 10th B swarm anniversary. The pepper badge's bonus has been changed from bomb power to flame pollen which is good for red hives since bombs are useless unlike flames and the meteor shower has been moved on top of the badge sprinkler ace shop building. There have also been three B changes. Rascal demo frosty bees gifted bonuses have been changed. Rascal bees 30% red bomb pollen has been changed to 1.25 times red bomb pollen. Demo bees 30% buzz bomb pollen to 1.25 times buzz bomb pollen and frosty's 30% blue bomb pollen to 1.25 times blue Blue bomb pop. That's basically it. Hopefully, you learned something new. Goodbye.